Hi, this is David from Modley Studios and today we will look at the Panasonic Virtual Product Studio. We will look at the application and at uh, the models in Maya and I will share some uh, tips with you about modeling and uh, creating geometry for real-time applications. So let's go. This is our um, virtual little studio with uh, different objects. We can browse through this and we can also make them move and in different configurations, different options. Uh, I especially like this one because it's very nice and very colorful and you can even play with it a little bit. So let's get going and another camera and uh, this camera also is available on the wall mount and let's take a look at this Varicam which is a really cool product of course. Um, so yeah, this is Unreal and some uh, low polygon geometry so performance wise it's really optimized to the most you can get with uh, we need this in 4k and we need this to run on a just a common gaming computer we can uh, switch the lens right here also pretty nice feature and uh, with a lot of detail let's just fly around a little bit and this is also available on this uh, very nice cam bot which can also dance a little bit and with some nice rig for the cables. So yeah, this is uh, something we had uh, running on the IBC in uh, Amsterdam this year and uh, we were running the live show with a virtual studio. We will take a look at this another time, but uh, this was on our separate workstation just to show people what's possible with uh, low polygon modeling and real-time stuff and cool products for Panasonic, of course. So one more time, let's get back to this media panel because I want to look at this, um, do some Star Wars flyby. Yeah, very nice. Um, this server also with a lot of detail, of course. So let's close this and go to Maya and drop in the model. First, let's look at this one. So this is the model right here. Um, the textures are not connected. One quick tip for Maya, if you quickly want to uh, repath your um, file textures, go to the file path editor and general editors selected let's see what's missing so that's everything and repath the files with the correct folder you have your files in so yeah my textures and let's hit repath and the textures will be available so switch, switch to texture mode and here you can see this is the model we have all those nice little buttons uh, those are separate meshes in Maya right here if you use something in real-time VR uh, if you don't have to animate it, combine all your meshes to one uh, to one mesh. So this right here, 220 uh, nodes to compute, uh, make it one and you have a uh, big advantage in real time. So combine as much as you can. Some very nice textures on there. So let's switch to the wireframe mode because I'm talking about low poly modeling and let's take a look at this. What the hell, because that's not low poly, but we have a certain poly count defined for all the different products and right here it's uh, 130,000 triangles for this one and this was okay for performance so the trick here is to use not so many textures just some uh, different textures for the buttons we use this in very small resolution in Unreal and we just put it on those little tiny blocks right here yeah. Let me pull up the texture. Yeah, looks like this. So, uh, yeah, that's the model. And not to use a normal map right here, because if you go really close, you would get some artifacts. And if you have geometry, this just looks nice. And after all, that's only 7,000 triangles. So um, in this case, it's okay. You don't have to use a normal map. Also for this uh, little uh, brushed uh, right here, this is 3000, a uh, little bit crazy for low poly, low poly modeling, but again, we don't need any uh, texture for this. We have a texture assigned later for a nice specular effect right here, this brushed effect. So these are the little tricks that make the whole thing look very nice and very shiny. 
Okay, let's take a different model like uh, this Cambot. Right here, you have uh, seen the welding seams down here. This is also just some tiny little mesh with some cool texture on it. But again, oh no, my textures, no, they weren't missing. So this is a normal map painted in Substance Painter just on top of the geometry uh, very quickly. Um, not correct display viewport for the decals. So ah, never mind. And yeah, this is this uh, Cambot, uh, the very sweet thing. It's uh, already prepared for rigging and let's go one step up. Let's move this right here and let's move this one. And let's see what this one can do. And you notice the cables aren't moving at all. So for this, we have a different scene. Let's take a look at some cables right here. And um, this is just some freestyle modeling uh, on some references we took and uh, finally we put a rig in there and let's take a look at it in Unreal and I will move it and you can see the nice wobbling effect of the cables computed in Unreal with this rig we prepared for the different animations very nice let's go somewhere else some pretty unusual movement but still we can show what's possible and one very nice okay let's get back to Maya once more um, the beautiful thing let's close this better performance the beautiful uh, beautiful thing about this uh, style of modeling is you can really really keep the textures to a minimum so all these little tiny uh, icons right here this is 5,000 triangles, really much better in performance than having a very big texture or putting all those UVs together. You can just bake the geometry later without this and then you don't get any artifacts like occlusion uh, effects on this geometry down here. Also for uh, cool meshes, don't be afraid to use triangles if you have um, proper normals. Let's turn them on display polygons and uh, vertex normals so let's take a look at it if you have good normals for example for this surface right here all the normals are looking in the same direction so this is really a flat surface no problem after all so why not use triangles wherever you can at some point it's nice to have a cool wireframe so you can keep some of those but if you want to go really to the maximum you can also uh, merge these vertices together. Let's do this. Okay. And merge. And those as well. No problem. And those. But this would give me like 10 more triangles. <laughs> Looks like shit. And uh, so let's keep a nice mesh. But as I said, don't be afraid to use triangles if you have to absolutely no problem if your normals are right and for those very tricky surfaces right here to get cool normals we have our uh, tools to set the normals really right but um, this is uh, our own development and it's running in 3ds max so maybe we'll show you this another time um, but yeah there you go some nice models some small tips about low poly modeling make some details uh, they really make it nice and make some decisions how many divisions you like um, for close-ups because for sure at some point you see it's slow polygon geometry but let's get further away at all as well and i ah, yeah, have one more thing about those normal maps and uh, modeling so model this don't use textures it's much more sharp you get a much better result if you have those little screws right here, also model them inside, keep the normals very optimized and everything looks really nice. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, till next time, bye bye.